we've launched an investigative reporting unit which is breaking stories right and left about the Massey mine, about the uh, Christmas Day bomber, about the Fort Hood uh, shooter, about the oil spill. We have really been digging and investigating stories and it's to, to, to great effect. And so I'm, I'm very proud of the work that this unit has done. This is just really important work. Um, so, and we're also expanding um, in other fronts and a lot of our other coverage. Uh, we just did a fantastic multimedia series called the Grand Trunk, Grand Trunk Road, which uh, featured um, Steve Inskeep traveling the entire trade route across India and Pakistan with a series of really compelling reports about um, what's happening to the, to the country and the incredible young population um, using that as a device. So there's a lot of, you know, I always, begin with what's most important, well, most important to me and most important to, to NPR, which is our informing the world. But um, we're also cranking out a lot of, a lot of fronts. Uh, we are um, uh, up and running on many devices. Our, our iPad uh, application, for instance, has been really, um, it's going really well. We have almost 300,000 downloads. It's designed specifically for that form factor, so it's not like anything else that we've done. And, really seems to be resonating with um, iPad users. And we continue to increase our audience, both on digital platforms, of course, but also broadcast. You know, our tried and true, our heart and soul broadcast radio audiences continue to grow. Right? We have a record, uh, We our latest ratings period showed record audience for NPR member stations, almost 34 million listeners a week, listening on average six hours a week. So things are good. That's great. So tell us about, in sort of a bigger sense, the, uh, the ecosystem of news. Uh, it's, it's kind of a bad time. It's kind of a good time. The demand for news seems to keep growing. It's just sort of the business has to be figured out. I'm, I'm not sure what you think about that. No, that's exactly right. You know, I, I can't tell you so many people I talk to, they go, oh, well, the whole journalism is broken. Journalism is not broken. The business model for traditional journalistic platforms is in a state of creative destruction. That's my new favorite expression. Um, and it's changing. And, and the, the dual revenue streams of newspapers and particularly broadcast news, those two, which is two revenue streams, both of them under duress, is, is, you know, is, is breaking and the replacement for it has not, um, has not revealed itself yet. I tend to agree um, with Clay Shirky, who says that you know what will we're, when, when speaking about the you know the traditional business model said, you know what will replace them? Nothing will work, but everything might. I think that's exactly right. There are we're, we we are in a period now where we just have to relentlessly experiment with business models and see what makes sense, and probably there'll be a menu of options. The good thing. Um, about public media is that we have never relied on two revenue streams. We have always relied on, you know, a half a dozen. And so, um, as a result, last year when we got hit very hard in, in, in underwriting, which rises and falls with advertising, we were hurt. But because the other revenue models sustained, we were not, you know, it wasn't fatal. So um, I think we have a good model, the balance of membership, which is sort of, you know, this, the pay model equivalent in public media, underwriting institutional support from foundations, philanthropic support from individuals, and, um, and other forms of earned revenue. Talk about your uh, old employer for a moment. They're going to uh, have a somewhat of a paid model. What do you think the prospects are? I know we've spoken about it in the past, and um, I don't know how much you know about the new plan, but what are your thoughts about how that might work out? And also, there's a lot of discussion about the News Corp uh, newspapers going behind a paywall. Well, everything I know, I, I don't work at the New York Times anymore, but um, everything that I understand and read, I, I think it's absolutely the right thing to do. Um, the difference between what the plan is now and Time Select is that, um, you know, casual readers will not be cut off. People coming in through search, people coming in through blogs, as I understand it, um, again, I'm getting this, you know, secondhand, um, will still have that content available to them. But the loyal readers will, you know, will be incented to to pay um, a subscription so they can continue to have free access. I think it's terrific, and, and I'm very hopeful that that model will work for them. Very good. Well, great to see you, and uh, congratulations on your uh, presentation yeah. today. Thanks. Thanks so much, Andy. It's good to see you as always.